Once you've edited your home page and worked on other auxiliary pages, such as your FAQ and About Us pages, you're very much going to, very likely going to want to work on the pages that IO generates. So to understand the pages that IO generates, uh, here's a quick layout. So first we create a page that's called All Items. And as the name suggests, it is a, pa it is a page that lists all the items in your inventory. Next up, we have what is on newer websites is called the inventory page. On older websites is referred to as the all categories page. This is a list of all of the categories of products on your website. Then we have all of the individual category pages. And then from there, we have all of the individual product pages. Then there's also a few other pages that are created, such as your contract page, your quote page, contact page. And but those are less important right now and you're going to run across them less when you are beginning the editing process on your website. But what's most important to understand right now is your inventory category and product pages. And so what you're looking at on screen right now is a category page. And so for those of you with new IO websites, these are going to come as long as you have in your IO software fully filled out a name a picture and a description for all your categories, uh, then that will appear here on each page. Uh, but however, you can, you can create additional edits and add additional content to these pages, which we strongly suggest you do for SEO purposes. So the biggest thing to be aware of is that when you first come and first edit these pages, the edit with Elementor button will not do anything for you because these pages have yet to be touched by Elementor. So that means that you need to click the edit page button first. Then once that has fully loaded, then you can ask to edit with Elementor. That will load the Elementor page editor now. The biggest thing to be aware of is that everything that was on the page, the way IO generates it, is going to be inside of a text editor or a short code block and you cannot touch any of that you don't want to disrupt any of that and you can't put anything inside of it or in between any of this the only places that you can legally edit on a page at least for the time being is above and below this content once you're in but once you're in here though you can simply choose to hit the plus sign at any point and create new content in these pages. Uh, just as a quick rundown of how to create new content, you click the plus sign like I just saw, then you can click, you can hit this to add templates in using pre-built blocks or whole entire page templates if you have Elementor Pro paid for, which you do and that which is built in if you have an IO website, or you can go ahead and start creating your own custom blocks, simply, I'm sorry, sections, by clicking that plus sign and then beginning to build your structure. And that's all there is to it, to adding uh, these. And you can also do the same on product pages as well. Works the exact same way. Just again, make sure that you do not disrupt anything inside of that uh, short code structure. And just as a reminder as well, that at this time, you're not able to change the layout on these pages or especially product pages using the Elementor drag and drop. That is something that we are working on and possibly possible in the future. If you need to make changes to the layout of these pages, it has to be done using our short code editor, which we will get into shortly. And that's all for this video and thank you much.